Hi, coach. Good afternoon. Hi, Luna. Hello. How are you? Hello, guys. I hope you're all keeping well. Yeah, everything's all right. Coach, um, we can start, right? Yes. Very good afternoon, all of you. Welcome to a KBMC pre-match press conference. We have our coach, uh, Ivan, and the player, uh, Luna. And the floor is open for the question. As a request, I request you please ask first few questions to the player, and then you can continue with the coach. Over to you. So who wants can to I go start? first? Kaushal? Yes, can I start? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Kaushal. Okay, uh, Luna, uh, good afternoon. I have a question for you. Uh, so, you have played in the A League and now you have spent uh, a decent amount of time in India and you uh, played your first game in ISL. So, what are your initial thoughts about both the leagues as compared to each other? Good afternoon. I think the league guys are very similar because uh, there are many transitional time on, in the games and yeah I think the A League is more physical than this one but they have this kind of thing similar you know the game in, in more of the time is, is very transitional and we have to to avoid this this kind of thing if we want to, to achieve something. Okay thank you. Uh, Richie can I continue with my questions to coach Ivan? Yeah. Okay, Coach, uh, good afternoon. I'm from FWC. Oh, um, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Coach. Uh, so, uh, last game, you had your first proper welcome to the top tier league in India. So, what do you make of the toughness you faced during the game and what are your plans for the next round? Well, uh, the toughness we faced, uh, it was something that we accepted. So, actually, the strong organization from our uh, opponent. I think that we played in, uh, if we speak globally, we played a good game. Uh, we controlled most of the game. The things and the goals we scored were uh, uh, were well, very well played. And I think that uh, even seeing that kind of game and uh, the mistakes after, after which we conceded goals, uh, we have to try to avoid those things and those moments. And if we avoid those moments, we control these moments of the games better, that we can uh, proceed further on with our uh, playing style, having more control of the game and uh, having a grip of, of the game. That's the way I want to play. That's the way I, I think about football, because I like to attack, to attack and attack, you know, and then the intensity of attack changes. And of course, controlling the game and controlling these kind of mistakes, avoiding these moments that we concede uh, an easy goal. So these kind of things we have to work hard on and hopefully it will be better in the next period. So for the next game, we will try to play a good, well-organized game, the game that we can control and uh, the game as well the, for, with the moments that we can create nice chances and uh, scoring opportunities. So we'll see uh, tomorrow. Okay, coach, I have one more question. Uh, so it's a follow-up to this one. So uh, you told about organizing your team a bit more properly. So in the last game, uh, KBFC was seen holding a high back line and uh, it did not uh, prove to be the best system against a top attacking side. So tomorrow uh, against uh, Northeast United, they also have a strong and energetic attacking trio. So would we see this defensive pattern in KBFC continue or would there be any change? Like I just said, I like to attack, I like to attack. So uh, the way of playing football, you know, in every game there are moments that you have to attack, there are moments that you have to defend. So you can come out with that one uh, game plan. You can come out with one strategy, but you never know how the game will evolve and how the game will start. So if we speak about approach to a last game, uh, conceding very early goal after offside moment, you know, it changed the, 
the site of the game. And of course, when you are 1-0 down after two minutes, of course, you have to go and play more offensive because you want to equalize uh, the game. So tomorrow, we don't know. But like I said, I like uh, controlling the game. I like having the uh, ball in our possession because like that, we want to create uh, nice things on the pitch. We want to play uh, good football. So whoever we will be facing tomorrow in the next period, we, are, we want to play attacking football. Thank you, Coach. Uh, thank you, Luna. And thank you, Richie. Thank you. Thank you. Ashudi, uh, you can ask. Um, good afternoon, Coach. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Luna. Uh, myself, Hello. Ashudi, from Halfway Football. So my first question is for Luna. Uh, can I ask? Yes, yeah, sure. You just played your first league game. What do you feel about the league and uh, how do you compare the level of Indian football to the leagues and countries you played before? I already answered this question before. I think um, there are many uh, transitional moments. If we want to achieve something, if we want to play a, a good football, we have to control those moments and try to, to be in control of the game, you know. Always, if you are changing attack for attack, you cannot control the game. You have to keep possession of the ball and trying to, to play our football. Okay, thank you, Lona. Uh, my next question is for uh, Ivan. Um, yes. How is the feeling in the camp after the first game? Uh, will there be major changes in the squad? Yeah, well, uh, it, it doesn't change a lot because we have our goals in, uh, in sight we have our uh, objective and we are uh, we continue working hard for the things we want again I think we played uh, quite a good game the things we wanted and we started building up I think that we were competitive side but the only thing what bothers us is like conceding those easy goals after our mistakes not because the opponent creates uh, great tactical movements and I think that we have to avoid those uh, mistakes and those things in the next period. Of course, like just Adrian said and I repeated, we want to have more control of the game, grip of the game. With our tempo in, uh, in the game, I think that we can achieve nice things. So, everything is good so far. We have a good atmosphere, we have everything like, everything's all right. The games you win, the games you lose, this is football. The, the football nice thing is always that you have the next opportunity after a couple of days to play a new game. So this is football. You don't have to think too much about history. Okay, coach. I have one more question. Uh, with the number of foreign players uh, reduced in the team, uh, it looks like teams are struggling to find a balance between defense and attack. So do you think starting Sipovic and Leskovic together will solve the defensive issues? Or are you going to uh, trust uh, young players like Bijoy and Hormika? Well, the good thing is that everybody is available now except uh, Raul who got injured. Uh, like the, the, the regulations, like we can have only four foreigners on the pitch uh, on the same moment. So we will find a good, quite good recipe for tomorrow. I think we have all of them available, all of six of them available. Of course, they know the situation. Everybody knows the situation. We are very pleased with the improvement of some young boys. They still need time and space to improve even more. And uh, in the next period, they will get a uh, chance. They will have uh, minutes and space to, uh, to play in ISL because they have to start somewhere. They have to start sometime. So, again, we are happy to have all of them available. So, we'll see. We'll see today is training and tomorrow we'll make good rest. Okay. Thank you, Coach. Uh, all the best for next game. Thank, thank you, you, Luna. Thank you. Thank you, Ashwini. Abhibhik, um, you can ask. Yeah. Uh, hi, hi, coach. Uh, my question is for you. Uh, like the opening yeah. round of fixtures, uh, uh, saw like uh, quite a few high-scoring games. I think there have been 18 goals in the opening round, which is more than there has been uh, in previous seasons. Uh, do you think there are any factors in the preparation or something because of which teams are taking time to find defensive solidity? Do you see any pattern because of which there have been so many high-scoring matches in the first round? Well, well, this is the fact that the, the style that the clubs want to play, like offensive football brings more goals. i rather win 5-3 than 1-0. Uh, so that's the football I like, because we have an interesting group of players with quality uh, who like to play with the ball. So with that kind of potential and uh, quality, we want to have a control of the game. We want to have a ball in our possession. So that's what we provide, and especially 
speaking of, speaking of uh, club's ob objective, we want to develop certain young players. So that's the way. So not only playing defensively, but teaching them many other aspects of the game. So then the other clubs as well, uh, I think that we saw more uh, mistakes in the first games than uh, quality uh, builded up actions. So I think that all the clubs, because they just started, will have to avoid those mistakes and those things. But this is, this is also, it goes with the quality of the teams. So decreasing of foreign players, even for next year, will be crucial because the clubs, they have to go in a, in a direction of forming domestic players, working more with the youth, which is the big lack in, in, in uh, Indian Super League and Indian football. That the club will have to invest and uh, develop more youngsters for the future. So that will bring uh, less mistakes and uh, better organization and better teams. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Krishna, you can go. <laughs> uh, hi, Coach. Uh, I'm Krishna from Gorson Football. Uh, so, good afternoon to both of you. Uh, my question to Luna is, uh, there was some good build-up in the last game, uh, but uh, it didn't came out in the scoreline as much. Uh, are you guys, as an attacking unit, still adapting to each other? Yeah, of course. We have uh, like three months precision, but this is not enough to to know all your your teammates. Of course, it's good time to work, but you still have to know how play a... Behaves, moves, things. Partido uh, you want to know how the you have to uh, to get to know together how they uh, how play you know the chemistry you know can well, can I ask yeah can, can you ask to the coach please yeah yeah. Uh, you you mean chemistry with each other, Luna? No, chemistry with not that. Because when you when you see the complexity of one team, uh, she wants to say that we uh, some teams to get to know your teammate, you need certain period of playing together, training together, and everything. And that needs time. That needs a couple of months. Even if you take maybe some teams who are champions on not only ISL level but any other level, they need time to playing together. Uh, you know, getting to know each other. Not only yeah. on the pitch, but outside of the pitch, like that, you create a great bond, you create a good team. And in every moment of the game, you know how the other teammates will behave, their runnings, their movements. And so that's how the big teams are created. Yeah. So I'm moving to uh, coach. Uh, my first question to you is like last game, it felt for sometimes that Jason is very isolated in the midfield uh, in some of the. Uh, um, uh, counters that ATK, ATK Mohan Bagan is doing. So, are we looking for a more midfield balance in tomorrow's game, like to bring more balance to the team? No, I think in the last game that, that uh, we were more dominant. We have that uh, grip of the game. Now, you have to know when you play high up the pitch, when you press your opponent, when you try to play offensively, of course, it means that there will be space behind your back and you, that you will have to deal with counter-attack. So this is how it goes in football. The team who is attacking, the team who is defending, it gives more space. We saw that in previous games as well. Not only our games, but the other games. So we don't know how the game will start and evolve tomorrow. So we have our idea. We want to play offensive football, like I say. I like to play offensive football. I like to play for more goals. I like to score... Uh, I'd rather score more goals than my opponent than conceded less goals than my opponent. That's the way I think about football. So, because I think we have potential to, for scoring goals and I want to see our team doing that. So, tomorrow we'll have our idea how to uh, attack the game, how to attack the opponent. Of course, there will be moments where we will have to defend. So, this is how it goes. We prepare for both scenarios. Okay. Uh, my next question is like, uh, it's, it's been communicated that Rahul is out for some time. Uh, so, 
are you looking at uh, like your um, foreign players like luna to uh, shift into right wing or are you expecting uh, domestic players like uh, prashant or vinci to step up we want to play on right wing no no, no we are not shifting luna to right wing <laughs> so it's <laughs> so it will be prashant or no, uh, vinci i think i we have we have enough we have enough quality players who can perform on different positions and uh, and i think that we have also some youngsters who have a potential to become the part of that's why they are here they all have quality and potential to be here so like i said not only uh, you know the objective of the club is to develop those players to give them time and space uh, to become better not only now this moment of tomorrow but also for the future for the next period of kerala blasters you know and this kind of this is how you develop and build up for young players so we need those moments and these players will need and get their time on the pitch so i'm happy that some of them they can play on different positions so we can let's say mix and match and create some puzzle that can bring a good result we'll see tomorrow thank you coach thank you luna uh, thank you good luck for the next game ashwin you can ask yeah th uh, thank you thank you uh, good afternoon coach good afternoon luna my first question would be for luna uh, luna you have actually played your first game now it's uh, how nervous were you before going out there and playing your first big indian league game uh, you actually have a lot of experience playing in the a league but having play for having to play for a club like kbfc having to play for a club that has a rich fan base that is always behind you behind your back for uh no no what means in uh, every situation they are behind your back and how nervous were you for the first game and how do you feel right now yeah, i feel good i think of course i don't like to lose we lose the first game uh but i think we play good and yeah the club has a lot of fun we felt this love a lot in the social media and we want to win not only for us of course we want to win for them make them happy make them proud i think we are in the right way and we have to to improve you know we play only one game we have a lot of time to improve but for me and my personal point of of view we have if we cannot win the next game we must not lose this 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 next game and yeah that's how i think and how i i feel right now okay uh, that's good and uh, one more question to you do you prefer playing in the center midfield more or as an attacking midfielder because we have seen there as coach mentioned earlier we have a lot of options in the attacking midfield like you can call out sahel you can uh, somewhat see other players also coming in in that position so where do you see yourself better in the center midfield or in the attacking midfield position or is it just like what the game calls from me i'm ready to give it No, you know, I prefer to play always. I don't care where. But <laughs> if I have to choose, I prefer to play behind the striker. Of course, you have as a player more freedom there in in front. But if I have to play uh, as a keeper to help the team, I, I have no problem. That's good. That's good. Now uh, over to you, coach. Uh, uh, we've seen Bijoy getting his debut uh, in the previous game here. Yeah? My question is. they were players they were center backs who are already experienced more than bijoy you had abdul hakku who have already played in the isl you had uh, ruvia uh, who has an i league experience and is also a young rising star for the indian national team and when you have these two options sel you selected bijoy and he actually performed real well uh, really well uh, considering that was his first game how do you rate him how do you rate uh, selecting bijoy uh, above a, an experienced players like abdul hakku and uh, ruya yes but because because uh, bijoy told me coach i want to play so i selected him <laughs> <laughs> just just, oh. just just like that no. or you had a plan <laughs> like <laughs> no actually uh, not only about if we speak not only about uh, mentioned players here be joy even if we speak about hormi even if we speak about uh, youngsters like uh, uh, vinci ayush gibson they are all young guys with potential okay and they all have this moment and in the last period of uh, our training session and friendly games they gave us kind of uh, confidence that 
in my sight, in my eyes, there were no problems for him to participate and to play the, the very first game. It's true that uh, he never played on that level. But, you know, those boys, they have to start sometime. You know, those boys, they get the chance, they, they get the moment, space. This is how all players, they started their career. This is how I started, like, 20 and 7 years ago. This is how Adrian started his career. Every player started in one moment. So, we as a coaching staff, we had that confidence. I think that he had... Uh, uh, he played a good game, you know, uh, a part of uh, maybe some moments, but that's normal for a boy. You know, sometimes in a, all these players, uh, you have to make and commit some mistakes in your games like that. You learn, you learn that those moments uh, not to happen again. So, you know, we are fully confident about him. We are fully confident about all other players. Uh, if you mention some other players with more confidence, that was the... the the choice of coaching staff. And I think that uh, that was a good choice because, like we said, we want all of these boys becoming better, improving them, developing them, that tomorrow Kerala Blasters, not only Kerala Blasters, but maybe national teams later, they have profit of them, they can select more and more good players. So we'll see for the future. Probably many of them, they will get their chance and space to play. Great, great. Coach, uh, one more question to you. Uh, like... One of my uh, one of my friends uh, from other media actually quoted it uh, earlier. We saw Jackson being the single DM option in the previous game. Okay, don't you feel like uh, when you have an open uh, when you have a player like Bomus in the uh, opening side, who we all know that is a lot creative, a lot of a dangerous or a hazardous player for us. Don't you think that would be a heavy workload on a player like Jeepson, who's still young and uh, who's just a uh, who's just budding up to be coming out of his pot potential to play him as a single DMF in there? Don't you think that a support system, any any one more DMF like Ayush has played really well in the preseason friendly, friendlies and all. So having a supporting player in the DM position for Jeepson wouldn't that be a good option for you for the team? Yes, it could be, but also not only Jackson, but any other player, they have to know that in the football, in many occasions, you will face yourself in a situation one against one, whoever is your opponent. Maybe tomorrow uh, your opponent will be even stronger, even better. You know, I think that Jackson uh, uh, has more difficulties uh, every day on a training session facing Adrian. You know, <laughs> these kind of things, they have to get used because that's football. You know, and uh, we want to push those boys to a certain limit because like that they will become better and like that whenever they face themselves in a situation in the game they will solve those uh, situations easier so of course we had an idea to play against uh, in our previous game uh, one way we wanted to play a competitive game we wanted to score goals we wanted to chase our opponent why it will be also in the next games as well so all the boys they have to know i will be demanding we want to push them to a certain limit because we want to be a competitive team, we want to be a good team in this league. So that's how it goes. Of course, like you mentioned, Jigson, Ayuj, Gibson, many of them, they have potential. And yeah, why not? In some of the next games, they will find themselves in those situations as well. <clears throat> yeah, great, great. Thank you, coach. Thank you, Luna. It was actually great to see you guys a smile in the start of the press conference. I hope that the smile stays when the game, next game ends. Thank you. Thank you for the responses. Hopefully. Thanks, thanks Ashwin. Um, Swapna Moy, you can go ahead. Thank you. So, I'm Swapna Moy Chakraborty from the Boys Bharat. So, my first question is to Adrian Luna. So, how you cope up with the hot and humid condition of FC Goa, uh, of, of Goa uh, coming from Australia? So, how you are coping up with the hot and humid condition here? Yeah, you feel the humidity, humidity in the second half. The first half, you don't feel anything. The pitch is so good. You enjoy so much to play in this kind of pitch. And yeah, as I said before, if you have control of the game, we move the ball, we keep possession, we have no problem, even with the, this kind of thing. Okay, so my next question is to the coach that in the last game, uh, KBFC suffered a defeat against the ATKMB. So, what was your motivational talks to the team at the dressing room after the match? Well, it was quite simple. It was quite simple. We uh, we said that well, we lost the game because of our mistakes. 
I prefer uh, always to be honest. And actually, uh, if, uh, if any time when we lose game or if we lose game, if the opponent beats us by uh, uh, tactical movements or uh, any other football aspect, then we shake hands and we admit and say, okay, they were better and they beat us because they were better. In the last game, we didn't have that feeling that the opponent was that better. And I think, again, we played the good games and glory, glory, glory. You know, we are always honest. Uh, when we talk to each other, we're always honest and we know that we committed errors who lead us to uh, those conceded goals. So we have to avoid those things in the future, trying to them, and that we'll have more control of the game. And like that, we will be more dominant. Yeah, who knows? Winning game. So that's what we want. Uh, so my next question to you is that uh, can we see KBFC going with two foreign center backs in the next match? Yeah, but we will see. We have trainings today. We have to see the session, how it goes today. What's the current situation? Yes, now we have a luxury. We have all uh, six foreigners available. Uh, all the players except uh, Raul, KP are now available. We'll see later, but we will have to puzzle for tomorrow. And all the foreign players, they know that there is the space for four guys on the pitch. So we'll see. We'll see how it will end today. I like, so to, make, not going. I like to make those decisions after the today's training. Okay, so Albino Gomes didn't had a great uh, game in the last match. So uh, how you motivated him and uh, and tried to keep him in this uh, track of progress? Well, this is more the question for goalkeeper coach because that's uh, that's his job. Well, of course, you know, with the keepers it's quite easy. Work hard, improve the things that you can improve, and again, work hard, and uh, that's it. So, uh, you know, these boys, they have to know one game is one game. You know, win, lose, uh, the day after that, you just have to, if it's lose, you have to swallow it, uh, continue working hard, uh, like I just mentioned, not to repeat certain things. And let's go. That's it. There is a next game to prove yourself. So that's in the football motivation. You have to be capable of switching that off, continue and uh, making the best of the next game. Thank you, Coach. Uh, thank you, Supnumai. Uh, we have the time. Uh, it's up. Uh, Stan Chetan, you can ask next question. Yeah. Uh, Coach, uh, Stan from the Hindu. Coach, do you think uh, tomorrow's game will be a lot different uh, uh, compared, to the, compared to the previous game? Do you think it will be a little more easier? No, I think it will be uh, even harder. Because, uh, okay. you know, every game, every game is different. Every game is uh, hard uh, by itself. So, you know, it, it depends how you start. It depends how you approach. It uh, we were we like to be more focused on ourselves to control the game and uh, try to make the game easier for ourselves. But it can go the opposite way, like it was uh, in the previous game against ATK. So actually, uh, not the one game will be easy. Every game will be difficult on uh, on its way. So we'll try to make best of it. Also, one more question, Coach. Uh, uh, Northeast, as an Indian coach and Khalid Jamal. So, do you think as a coach, you'll be under a lot more pressure uh, than, than a normal game? No. No, every game is, uh, you know, you approach. There is, like, the preparation of the game, the things you want to do. So, I don't see it as a kind of pressure. I see that only as a motivation. You know, because we are, uh, let's say, uh, we are gifted uh, and we are blessed to, to have that opportunity to... Uh, to work in the football in this kind of environment and uh, in this job. So for me, every game is like a big motivation, a big joy, pleasure. Okay. Thank you, coach. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, coach. Kaushal, you can wrap it up to Kili. Uh, coach, we have a last question from Mr. Kaushal from IFTWC. Kaushal, over to you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, coach, uh, I would like to ask you one last question. So, uh, most teams in the ISL, they seem to thrive to the strengths that they have in the midfield. So uh, how do you plan to be more dominant in the midfield and uh, be more composed in the midfield while Kerala has the possession of the ball? Well, to try to find the openings, empty spaces and make overload in a certain part of the field. Creating overloads, when we speak about overload, that's a two against one, three against two, four against three. All these moments with good uh, uh, shifting, rotations, good movements, uh, quick exchange passes, 
uh, putting 10 points in a game like that, you make a difference like that, you will make your opponent suffer. So we have that quality, the, the ground is good and, uh, you know, we want to have that control of the game. We know that we will face one strong opponent last uh, tomorrow. So, you know, these kind of games uh, will happen in the future. So, you know, not only about midfield, in every part of the, of the field, we will have to be uh, focused and concentrated tomorrow. Thank you, coach, and all the best. Thank you. Thank you, coach. Uh, thank you all. Thank you, Luna. Wish you all the best for tomorrow's match. Take care. Thank you, guys. Bye.